We start with a play in which we parry a thrust. Then we run in and grab the halberd at the front close to the head. As soon as we are close enough we put the halberd directly on the opponent's neck and can even throw or knock him over. A rather dangerous technique which I am therefore only showing carefully and slowly here. And in the second play the parry is the same as in the first one before this. Again we only respond to an attack. This time however we wind over the opposing staff and thrust out of the upper guard deep into a lower opening. This should all be done quickly and without major interruption so that the opponent has little time to react. But this can easily be countered. It is possible to run immediately after the winding over the staff, either for a throw or a blunt strike with the rear part of the staff. And this is a very nice play, which we try to get under the opponent's weapon to press the opponent's halberd upwards. The other fencer has no choice but to try to escape this trap at some point and get the halberd out above. At this very moment we thrust after down below, if possible from an upper guard to be protected as much as possible. However, this stabbing can also be countered by the opponent by a strike into the steer guard to catch the incoming thrust. Afterwards, it's easy to thrust as well. And as a second option, the opponent would also be able to run in and throw us. Everything can be countered. Therefore, in all our fencing actions, we should consider how our technique or play could be broken. If we proceed carefully, we can react and possibly prevent counters and transform and redirect our further course of action. And of course, this can be broken again and so on, an endless loop. But that's exactly what is fencing all about. Either one of the participants is doing something right or someone is doing something wrong. End of story.